Consider this. Happiness is not something ready-made. It comes from your own actions. A profound thought from His Holiness the Dalai Lama, from the book, The Art of Happiness. This isn't just a book, it's a compass that guides us towards a life of purpose, joy, and fulfillment. The birth of this book is as intriguing as its content. Picture two diverse worlds colliding. On one side we have His Holiness the Dalai Lama, a spiritual leader, an epitome of peace, compassion, and wisdom. On the other side we have Howard C. Cutler, a psychiatrist, a man trained in the scientific method, committed to understanding the human mind and its complexities. Imagine the conversations between these two brilliant minds, the fusion of Eastern spiritual traditions with Western scientific methods. That's precisely what The Art of Happiness offers. This book isn't a conventional self-help guide, it's a dialogue, a conversation that weaves in the timeless wisdom of the Dalai Lama with the scientific insights of Cutler. The Dalai Lama, with his profound understanding of human nature and life, shares his perspectives on happiness, suffering, and the purpose of life. Cutler, with his psychiatrist's lens, reframes these teachings in a language that resonates with the modern mind. It's this blend of spirituality and science, this dialogue between East and West, that makes The Art of Happiness a unique masterpiece. The book takes us on a journey, a voyage of self-discovery where we explore our minds, our emotions, our relationships and our lives. It encourages us to question, to reflect and to seek answers. It challenges us to look at happiness not as a distant goal but as a choice, a way of life. So, buckle up as we delve into a journey of self-discovery, spiritual growth and the pursuit of happiness. This is just the beginning, the wisdom begins here, and there's a lot more to explore and learn. So let's embark on this journey together. Let's discover the art of happiness. Happiness, a universal pursuit, isn't it? But what does the art of happiness tell us about it? In the art of happiness, the Dalai Lama, a spiritual leader revered worldwide, along with psychiatrist Howard C. Cutler, delve into the age-old question of what it means to be truly happy. Their conclusion? Happiness is not an external state to be found but an internal one to be cultivated. Yes, you heard it right. In essence, happiness is the purpose of life. The Dalai Lama suggests that the key to happiness is in understanding our own mind, its nature, and its transformations. He emphasizes the importance of self-awareness and mindfulness, practices that allow us to be present and engaged in each moment. This, he says, is the first step in the pursuit of happiness. But what comes next? How do we train our minds to foster this happiness? The Dalai Lama proposes that developing virtues like compassion and patience is instrumental. Compassion, he explains, is not just about feeling for others, it's about understanding their experiences, their suffering. When we cultivate compassion we become more empathetic, more connected and ultimately more content. Patience, on the other hand, is about acceptance. It's about acknowledging that life has its ups and downs, and that's okay. It's about understanding that happiness is not a constant state, but a journey. It's about learning to weather the storms with grace and perseverance. So, if you've been looking for happiness in the external world, in material possessions, or in the approval of others, perhaps it's time to look within. Perhaps it's time to train your mind, to cultivate virtues, and to embark on your own journey of happiness. The Dalai Lama's wisdom, distilled in The Art of Happiness, invites us to shift our perspective, to redefine our understanding of happiness. It challenges us to look beyond the superficial, to delve deeper, to discover a more profound, more enduring form of happiness. As the Dalai Lama suggests, happiness doesn't just happen, it's an art that requires practice and patience. Life throws curveballs, agreed, but how do we hit a home run amidst these challenges? Let's explore. Firstly, it's important to understand that obstacles are an inevitable part of life. The Dalai Lama in The Art of Happiness emphasizes the power of perspective. He suggests that by viewing obstacles not as setbacks, but as opportunities for growth, we can cultivate resilience and foster happiness. This shift in perspective, he argues, is instrumental in overcoming life's challenges. The Dalai Lama also emphasizes the importance of developing inner strength. Just like a tree that stands firm in the middle of a storm, inner strength allows us to remain steadfast in the face of adversity. It's about cultivating a sense of calm and stability within ourselves, regardless of the chaos that might be happening around us. But how can we develop this inner strength? The Dalai Lama suggests that it comes from a deep understanding of the nature of life and the acceptance of suffering as a part of it. By accepting that suffering is a part of life, we can learn to face it head-on rather than running away from it. 
the Dalai Lama further teaches that patience and tolerance are key to overcoming obstacles. In a world that often demands instant results, patience can seem like a lost virtue. But it's in these moments of waiting and enduring that we often find our greatest strengths. Tolerance, on the other hand, helps us to accept things as they are, without the need to control or change them. Moreover, the Dalai Lama believes that compassion plays a crucial role in overcoming obstacles. By cultivating compassion for ourselves and others, we can develop a more understanding and forgiving attitude towards the challenges we face. In essence, the Dalai Lama's teachings on overcoming obstacles revolve around changing our perspective, developing inner strength, practicing patience and tolerance, and fostering compassion. It's about transforming our obstacles into stepping stones on our path to happiness. Remember, as the Dalai Lama says, the enemy is a very good teacher. Love and compassion are necessities, not luxuries. Without them, humanity cannot survive. A powerful statement from the Dalai Lama. But what does it mean? In the fourth chapter of The Art of Happiness, we delve into the profound themes of compassion and connection. The Dalai Lama, a beacon of wisdom and benevolence, firmly believes in the interconnectedness of all beings. He posits that this interconnectedness is not merely a philosophical or spiritual concept, but rather a tangible reality that impacts our daily lives. He paints a picture of the world as an intricate web, where each strand represents a life. These lives, these strands, are interconnected. They influence and are influenced by each other. This web represents our shared existence on this planet. It represents our shared destiny. The Dalai Lama asserts that understanding this interconnectedness is not just about acknowledging the bonds that tie us together. It's about recognizing that our happiness, our peace, is interwoven with the happiness and peace of others. We are, in essence, a part of a larger whole, and our actions ripple through this web, touching lives far beyond our immediate circle. This understanding in the Dalai Lama's view naturally leads us to compassion. To be compassionate is to recognize the suffering of others and to wish to alleviate it. Compassion is not pity. It is not looking down upon someone from a place of privilege. It is an empathetic response, born out of recognizing our shared humanity and the shared desire to be free from suffering. Compassion, in this context, is a path to happiness. It is a way of living that enriches our lives and the lives of those around us. It fosters connection and mutual understanding. It helps us to see beyond our narrow, self-centered perspectives and embrace a more inclusive, more compassionate view of the world. The Dalai Lama's words serve as a gentle reminder that love and compassion are not mere sentiments. They are powerful forces that can transform our lives and the world around us. They are the keys to a happier, more fulfilling existence. Indeed, in the web of life, we are all connected. So, we've journeyed through the wisdom of the Dalai Lama. But what are the key takeaways from the art of happiness? In the vast expanse of human wisdom, the art of happiness stands as a beacon, guiding us towards a life of joy and fulfillment. The book, A Profound Dialogue Between the Dalai Lama and Howard C. Cutler, delves into the essence of happiness and how we can cultivate it in our daily lives. Our exploration began with the concept of happiness itself. The Dalai Lama emphasizes that happiness is not a fleeting emotion, but a state of being that we can achieve through consistent effort. It is not found in material possessions or superficial pleasures, but in the depths of our minds and hearts. And the key to unlocking this state of happiness? Training the mind, an endeavor that requires patience, perseverance, and practice. Next we delved into the art of overcoming obstacles. Life is a tapestry of experiences, interwoven with trials and tribulations. But the Dalai Lama teaches us that these obstacles are not setbacks, but stepping stones to growth and self-realization. By adopting a positive perspective and learning from our challenges, we can transform adversity into opportunity. Finally, we explored the power of compassion and connection. In our pursuit of happiness, we must not forget the importance of empathy and understanding. The Dalai Lama reminds us that our happiness is intertwined with the happiness of others. By cultivating compassion, we not only enrich our own lives but also contribute to the well-being of those around us. Remember, the journey towards happiness is a personal one, unique to each individual. It requires introspection, effort, and a willingness to grow. It's a lifelong journey, but every step taken is a step towards a life filled with joy and fulfillment. As we end this enlightening journey, don't forget to subscribe and share this wisdom with others. After all, happiness grows when shared. 
Until next time, keep practicing the art of happiness.